his lyrics are always so relatable. Hey, uh, care for a quick cock gobble? Not from you, Chompy Chuck. Oh, come on. I won't chomp at this time. No, thank you. Another quiet night? Tonight and every night, honey. Not enough queers in this town to keep the seats filled. Times are changing. Keeps up. Gonna have to shut this place down. Shame. I really don't fancy going back to the public bathrooms for hookups. Good memories. If only everyone knew the joy of being gay. But how do we show them? Just parade around town with our cocks out? Wait a minute! That's it! What? A gay parade! It's perfect! How has no one ever thought of this before? Honey, I wish. Something like that ain't happening as long as that tight-ass mayor is in charge. I'll go talk to him. I'm sure I can get him to see the light. Tell you what, you get him to approve a parade and I'll give you free drinks for a year. Not to mention other benefits. Sergei Lamar is the most fabulous of the fabulous. Behind this queen's cold exterior is a bartender ready to listen to your troubles and give tough advice. Any ideas for convincing the mayor? I might have just the thing. I call it the cocktail. It's my go-to when I want some cute little straight to get in the sack and pound me. This drink will bring anyone over to our way of thinking. I'll fix you one. What's going on with Chuck? He looks a little down. The man is only happy with his mouth around something phallic, but no one's coming in these days. Though you're safer sticking your dick in a wood chipper than between that man's gums. What happened to all the customers? You know this town's institutions aren't the most accepting. Most moved to San Francisco or someplace. We really need that parade to show the people around here the fun they're missing. Old Chompy Chuck is one of the few regulars left. His one joy in life is handicapped by his bias towards biting. You're here all the time. Don't you have a job? Not anymore. I used to have a hair shop across from the school. Spent every day grooming the children. But the city trumped up some BS to shut me down. You seem a little down today. Yeah, things haven't been great. What I wouldn't give for a nice big cock between my teeth or lips. I, I mean lips. What happened to your boyfriend? Ken Doll? Yeah, we're not together anymore. He just didn't have what it takes to satisfy me. The book is titled Fifty Shades of Gay. It's total trash, but some of the patrons like it. I have no use for that garbage. The book is titled The Gama Sutra. It would take an acrobat to do most of the things in this book, but it makes for a nice bit of light reading material. He's not the greatest songwriter, but he's the only gay musician in town. He's not the greatest... Mayor Cockburn, come out of the closet, please. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this closet, right. What can I do for you? Mayor Cockburn cares about one thing and one thing only, re-election. I want to throw a parade, a gay parade, the gayest of gay parades. We'll have the Twinks, the Bears, the Leather Daddies, the Lesbos, the Scissor Sisters, the Golds. Now wait a minute there. I love hearing the great ideas of all my constituents. However, I cannot approve permits for such an event. This is a family town, and unless it holds some kind of educational value for the children, we can't have it. 
Plus, we know how the church feels about it. If I want the vote of that congregation, I can't go against the word of God. So, if a parade had the church's support and educational value, it's on? I am a servant of the people. If that's what they want, that's what they'll get. I'm on it. What were you doing in the closet? Just, uh, applying some caulk. You know these old buildings. So many cracks, I have to put my caulk in. So, what does a mayor do all day? All kinds of mayor things. Today, I'm editing the new tourism commercial to help our local business owners. The mayor is running some video editing software. It's a bunch of paper clips. I can't steal anything while the mayor's here. We. It's a stand up figure of Father Richard Cumming. That man sure is full of himself. I used to catch frogs by this river when I was a kid. Miss Slocum has an air of dissatisfaction most of the time, but she truly cares about her students' education. I have a proposal for a school lesson. Well, I would need to see the textbook. I can't teach a proper lesson without a textbook. Here's a new textbook you can use in your classroom. While human anatomy and biological functions are an important lesson, homosexuality is entirely unnatural. Look outside. You don't see animals having sexual relations with the same sex. I will not twist my students' minds with this material. Do you teach the kids about the birds and the bees? Yes, we teach them about the reproductive process and the dangers of unnatural sex. I teach the girls to be proper young women. For the boys, the wrestling coach, Mr. Diddles, takes them individually out camping. Mr. Diddles has a very hands-on approach. He's a far better influence on the boys than that hairdresser they used to hang around. What kind of job is that for a man? Could a parade be educational? Oh, certainly. The children love parades. A parade that aligns with the lessons we teach would help cement the knowledge in their minds. What do you think of this book? I can see the educational benefit. Please have my secretary, Jim, photocopy this for uh, research purposes. I can't use the mayor's computer while he's here. I used to catch frogs by this river when I was a kid. Maybe the wildlife could use a drink. Look outside at the frogs. What is it? Oh my, it seems I have been teaching the children all wrong. If frogs can be gay, it must be natural. I'll have to rectify this. Here's a new textbook you can use in your classroom. I can now see that homosexuality is an entirely natural part of the world, and this seems an ideal text for my classroom. This will surely sharpen our students' minds, likely bodies too. I just need to call the mayor over to sign off on it.
It's always good to carry around a paperclip. There's editing software running on here, but I need something to edit. Just what's normally in a closet. There's a suspicious hole in this wall. We must not forget the lessons of Sodom and Gomorrah and never give in to the perversions of the Sodomite agenda. Friends, the Richard Cumming is, is the head of the church, like his father before him. He is the moral compass for many folks in town who take his word as the it word of God. It is an abomination, a vile desecration of God and his law. These miscreants are not mere... The door is locked. I better not go in there while the priest might catch me. Who knew picking a lock was so easy? Father Cumming records his sermons for the YouTube. I'll just take the tape out of here. There's a suspicious hole in this wall. We must not forget the lessons of Sodom and Gomorrah and never give in to the perversions of the Sodomite agenda. Friends, Leviticus is clear that ye shall not lie with a man as you lie with a woman. It is an abomination, a vile desecration of God and his law. These miscreants are not merely comfortable sitting in the confines of their own abode, but instead thrust their deviance upon us. Friends, we must stand up and refuse the throbbing advances for the glory of the whole of God. We cannot allow them to insert themselves into our community and push and pound their agenda into us. There is only one way we mortal sinners can stand before God, and that is the way of Jesus. You must allow Jesus to come inside you, and only then can you resist the temptation of sin. Because, friends, God clearly tells us it is a sin to be gay. Not now I'm busy with the Lord. I better not go in there while the priest might catch me. The wall appears to have grown a cock. It's not my type. There's editing software running on here, but I need something to edit. I think this sermon could use a bit of editing. I've edited the sermon to be more to my liking. If only the congregation could hear it. I think I found something you'll like. Is it a cock? Oh, it sure is. Oh boy, I think it's time Chompy gets himself some sausage. Oh my god, it's a cock! A big, juicy cock! Sure is. Have at it. I 
don't want to go in there now. It's where Father Cumming gives his sermons. Audio tapes are used for various purposes in the church, and this is how they're played. This switch opens and closes the curtains. I'll do that when I open the curtain. We must forget Sodom and Gomorrah and give in to the Sodomite agenda. Man shall lie with man and woman shall lie with woman. We must allow friends to insert themselves and pound into us. Stand before the glory hole and come inside them. Because friends, God clearly tells us to be gay. I can now see the educational value in your parade, and it appears you have the support of the church. I hereby approve the gay parade.